Hello and welcome, it's Jellycube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with another paw today with my puppy dog right under my feet. I've actually got my spinner, which is just um, the Lazy Susan or from a hardware sh shop. So I'm going to spin this one today and I've got a MDF round. I think it's a 20 cent 20 centimeter mdf round um so on the one side it's already pre-painted so that's the side that i'm going to do my piece of art on this side i am going to use some tape to kind of make a makeshift um if you've got double-sided tape that would probably work much better but i haven't at the moment so I've just done that so I can stick it to my Lazy Susan. So when I'm spinning, it won't go and fly off all over the place. Well, that's the hope anyway. So I've got some pigments mixed here that I've had mixed for quite a long time. So I'm trying to go through them a bit. Um, I don't even know what some of the colors are because I must have put all my pigments back together and I have actually no idea. They're a mixed brands from, uh, I've got some little piggy piggies, I've got some color art, I've got some just resin, I've got some, oh, I don't know what these tiny ones are actually. Uh, oh, Pearl X, I've got a few of those. Um, primary elements. They're all mixed up. So I'm just going to use, uh, well, I probably won't use everything I've got on this round. So hopefully this, well, this definitely doesn't warp. I've done them on these before. So I'm going to give it a go. This is the paint that I'm using for my base paint. This paint I would only use for the Bloom styles. The Shelly, the, the proper Shelly, blue technique they use house paint as your base paint and if you follow me you know that i just use acrylic paint for all the other kind of pores that i've done so um but i've got this paint to use up and my pigment so i'm going i've got an mdf round i have a piece that i did yesterday that i absolutely love 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 look at that so i'm just waiting it to fully dry and then I will give that a resin coat so love that piece and now I'm doing it on this so the the brief is to pour your base coat on I know I've seen others do this and they don't spread it or anything but I really want to spread my paint so yeah so is it um is already covered the the MDF before I go much further. I, I don't know if anybody knows that, that you don't need to do it. Well, I find that I do need to do that because my paint, this paint is so thick, it doesn't spread very, it takes ages and ages if you're tilting it out, even if you're spinning it. So maybe I can add water to the paint. Does anybody else know? Because I'm learning along with you guys certain the techniques, so. I can do my own pseudo bloom technique, but this is using Shelley's um, proper recipe, which you will find on her channel, I think. But you have to, um, I think you have to uh, join or something like that. So anyway, I'm doing this today. So I will, I just wanted to keep that covered. But yeah, I guess it wouldn't matter really if I, um, watered it down a bit. Does anybody know? Does anybody out there know? Rightio, so I know you put a pillar, a pillar of paint. Now I'm going to put this color, which looks a bit of an odd color, um, it looks very sparkly then. This one is hot cinnamon. 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 I'm going to 
Put these puddles of colour. Hot cinnamon. And then I'm going to go this goldy one. I have no idea what this actually is. I think this one was a piggy's paint, so it's a goldy one. Goldy loxy one. This one was one of them shimmery shiny ones. I have no idea. I'm so sorry. I just don't. They're leftover paint, so I'm trying, <laughs> trying my best. This one I actually love, and I... I think this was another spice something by Colour Art, something spicy, something spicy anyway. Um, where shall I go from there? I might add some of this really, or is this the, this is, I don't know what this one is, but it's a really absolutely sparkling red. So I really think I should do one with just the reds, I think, and the ready purples. I think I'll use that last bit of that one up. Oh, they're real sparkly. One is gonna... I think these, when you do resin these pieces that have got these, I'm not sure what they're called. Does anybody know what they, when they're all really sparkly like that? Um, I might add some of this green. It's like a mermaid green, I would call it. And I think I'll leave it at that. God, maybe I'll just add the last bit of that. Oh no, there's a bit too much goldy colour. That's going off this way, isn't it? Um, What am I done with that now? Uh, I'm going to, actually, I don't think that's gonna work, is it? If I put that, I might have to use my spatula with my, I might use my wider one. Spatula and spin it with the actual, this is the cell activator. What I've got in here is Amsterdam Lamp Black with mixed with Australian Floetrol only. So I might spin this one. I did have all intentions of... Oh, geez, Louise. Actually, I might just do this first. Oh, look at those colors. Wow, wow, wow. How do I get that to go all over the place now? <laughs> do I put this? Yes, I presume I do. I want to put a bit more so it will spread. But yeah, I, I'm thinking that I really need to um, thin this paint down because surely, surely, surely. All those colours in there are <laughs> stunning. There you go. Just every which way, but this is such a shame because you do waste so much of that paint. I don't know whether to do another one. Should we just see how we go, hey? I'll spin it out and if I think I need to do anything else with it, um, might do a squiggle in it. Okay, let's put it out there a bit. I actually am filming, aren't I? I've done this so many times lately, chatted away and done a video and then it's not been filming, so, oh well. Not really going anywhere, is it? <laughs> okay, do I do it faster? 
Um, wondering if I do. Well, I think I stuffed that one up. Oh my goodness. Oh. Jilly, what have you done? How can I get that now to cover the sides? So do I wipe off the black or just keep spinning it? Actually, it's it's not too bad. Um, let's give it, keep going with it. That looks so lovely. I really like that. Talk about dragon skin. That is gorgeous. So I will just continue to spin. Do my Kylie Minogue. Spinning around. And no, I have not got a singing voice for sure. I've got loads of pigments left. You really only use a tiny bit of pigments. I know they're usually quite expensive to make, a buy, make and set up, but there you really use such a small amount. The black around the very edge now is, at least it's got like these lovely cells in it. And it kind of looks, you know, I didn't want a set border or anything, but it doesn't look so bad like that. Um, I really don't want to mess it up any further. I'm going to bring you down and have a look because that, that is beautiful. I love it. That red is spectacular. I must find out what red it was. Well, here she is. That red, that red is this one, the hot um, color art, hot cinnamon. I just put it into another container and that's the, the hot cinnamon. See, it looks more browny. I, I thought it was that colour I'd got there, but when you mix it, it turns out that absolutely gorgeous um, hot cinnamon. Oh, it's beautiful. And look at it with the other colours. Hey, that's gorgeous. So the edges didn't turn out too bad because they've got that sort of webbing in them too. So... I'm not so happy about that bit there. Those cells have stretched out, but it still adds a really nice point of interest, I guess. But the overall piece, I'm happy with that. So when it dries, I will resin it. You can either as it, have it as a trivet, a placemat, or just you still can hang it up or do whatever you choose with it. It's still a really nice piece and I had fun doing it. So I've just got a little bit more left of that house paint. So I'm going to, I think, I've got me, here we go, there we go, hang on. Uh, I've got a box, a jewelry box, a wooden one. So I guess I'm gonna take off the top and then just do something really nice on that heart at the top with the leftover paint I have. So my lovelies, thanks so much for joining me. Remember, if you want any tips, tricks, go to my uh, beginners playlist. Underneath is, um, in the description, is links to all the products I use. There's an Amazon shop there, there's Global, there's my Keep It Simple Pouring Medium. Um, if you're in the US and you want Australian Floetrol, I have a link there for pixel paint designs in the US that they sell it. And if you add the Jilly 10, you will get 10% discount on everything you buy there in the US shop. So awesome, awesome. Until next time, my lovelies. Bye for now.